Hi and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Andy, a property investor based in Maidenhead. I help business owners become more productive through technology. In this week's Asana Basics video, I'm going to be talking all about tags, something you may have stumbled across, seen other people using, or maybe even experimented with yourself, but are not sure how to get the most out of them. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you what tags are used for, how to add and view tags, provide some example use cases for tags and explain the differences between custom fields and tags themselves. So let's get started right away. So firstly, what are tags? Well, in their simplest terms, they're a way to add additional data to tasks to enable you to categorize, group and find tasks based on that additional information you've added. So for example, uh, you could tag tasks that represent your company objectives. Um, you could tag based on the time that you think it will take to complete a task, or maybe tag those tasks and that are at risk of missing their deadline. But before I sort of go into some specific examples, um, let me quickly show you how to add tasks to start off with. So um, I'm currently here in my product project plan and we've got it in the list view. Um, so as um, I've covered in previous videos, um, in list view, you can pull out the task pane uh, to go and add additional information. And if you don't want to know all about uh, tasks, then please do go and check out my uh, other video in my Asana Basics series, uh, link in the description. So I've just clicked on the goals for the sprint. And as we can see here, we've got the uh, task panel that's popped out. And there are two ways that you can add uh, tags in this panel. The first one is just to go to the three dots here on the right hand side, uh, click and we've got uh, add tags here. Um, so if I click on that one, we then get this additional pop up and I could go and uh, call that, for example, goal. So I've just typed goal in. Um, it's not one that I've used before. Um, so it's now got create a tag for goal. And then if I click on that, uh, it's uh, created it. And then I just need to choose a color. So let's choose a nice bright yellow. So that's the first way to add a tag. And you can see that it's now appearing in that task pane um, where it wasn't before. Uh, if I go to a different task, um, so here, um, this one is actually a custom field. So that's not a tag. Um, but another way and a quicker way is actually just on your keyboard just to press tab and T. So if I just press tab and T, it then pops up. Um, and then this time I could select perhaps one of our um, tags that I've already got. So maybe this is gonna be the team um, tag. Um, so it's very quick and easy. Um, so two different ways, the dots or the keyboard uh, shortcut. So next up is how do we actually go about and manage the uh, tags? So this isn't that obvious uh, in Asana, but if you actually hover over the tag itself um, and then click on it, this then brings up a list um, of all of the different uh, tasks that are assigned uh, with that tag. So here we've got different um, projects um, and we've got the uh, tasks that are all got the team tag. And here is a really useful way. If you've gone in, um, across all of your projects, gone and tagged different pieces of work, that's a really easy way to go and see them all in one place. And it's from this tag view that we can then go and manage our tags. So um, for example, the first thing that can be really useful is if we wanted to refer to this uh, team um, tag really often, um, we can go up to the top here and we can click on the little star and that's the favorites button, which puts it in our favorites section uh, on the left um, sort of uh, panel. Now, there are loads of these little tips and tricks um, scattered throughout Asana. Um, so if you would like to know more about other tips and tricks, I do also have another video on that as well. Uh, check out my Asana Basics uh, playlist uh, or the link to that specific video in the description. So um, I've gone and favorited it. So if you wanted to quickly refer to it, um, we can go back to the project plan and then jump back to that tag really uh, easily. We can also use uh, tags and we can search for them. So for example, uh, again, if I typed in goal, um, we've got goals, uh, the word goal that appears in various tag names, but also we've got the tag itself um, down the bottom. So if I click on that one, we can see where we've just added that goal um, tag. Uh, we've only got one in this case. We can also do um, things to do with the tag. So some maintenance. So for example, imagine that we wanted to rename that and we were going to change that to marketing goal. Um, I could just go and type that in, update the tag and it's changed at the top and in this uh, column. Um, also, um, I could also go and change the color. So although we set the color earlier, again, we've got the little drop down, set color, and then I could change that. Um, let's set it to uh, blue, for example. 
um, so you can change it rename it um, search for it and also you can also delete it so uh, in here if I go to the drop down uh, I've got delete tag at the bottom delete the tag it'll ask whether you're sure and then just press uh, delete and it's gone so um, they're really easy to manage, but one of the more powerful things is actually understanding the use cases um, for tags, so how they the power, how the power of them can be uh, really used. So if I go back to our product project plan, um, and you'll see here that we've got all of our tasks, um, and I'm just going to add a tag back in. So let's, for example, uh, add this one. And uh, a great use case is actually how long do you think different tasks are going to take because then you can quickly go and pick out shorter tasks or longer tasks based on how long you think it will take to complete them. So um, let's actually go into this finalized spec one um, and let's say that we think that this um, this task finalizing a spec let's say it's going to take 128, 120 uh, minutes. Great so I've just gone and tagged it 120, 120 minutes and then create and then we'll give it a color let's say yellow. Great. Uh, then, um, if we come out of that, you can't actually see it in the um, in the list view, um, but you can enable that. So, for example, if I go to the customize menu here, um, we've got a list of various properties, um, and one of them is tags. So, if I just go and flip the switch uh, and then click off that, we've now got the tags also appearing uh, in the list view, and we can see that our 120 minute. Um, tag is now visible and this is a really uh, quick way to add multiple tags um, at once um, rather than having to pop into each of the tasks individually so let's just say um, evaluate the feature success let's say well that's going to be a bit shorter so that could be 60 minutes um, very quickly create the tag um, give it a different color um, so you can quickly whiz down each of these um, and give them their durations so that's the first sort of use case is just saying how long you think each of these various pieces of work uh, are going to take and that's in list view um, if you do we've also got uh, across here if I just pop into the departmental objectives and this is board view so this is a bit different where it's like a Kanban style um, and here um, we can see them a bit differently so again if I just go and add um, a label which is uh, company objectives okay um, so I'm going to add a company objectives tag uh, create it add a color um, and if I now pop out of this, you'll see that in the board view, the tag has actually appeared as a little icon here, a little tag. And if we hover over it, we can actually see what the name of that um, tag is. Now, if you do want to know more about board view, then do check out my um, other uh, YouTube video in my Asana basic series, which is all about boards. So how to use boards, different use cases for boards, because they can be really, really powerful. So um, perhaps you want to go and flag all of your company objectives or maybe your team objectives that are in different teams on the left hand side. And then as the company owner, you could click onto that tag and very quickly pull out all of the team objectives and have them in one long list aggregated rather than having to jump into each individual um, team and all of the different projects. Then the last use case that I wanted to show you is actually um, we could use it on a RAG status. So if I go and show some more projects here and I've got my content uh, schedule um, and I've got three pieces of content. So Asana Basics 1, 2 and 3. And um, I'm sure you've heard of RAG status, so red, amber, green, just to say uh, are we on track with that piece of work or not. So if I go into my Asana Basics 1, now it's currently the 4th of April, so we can see that this piece of content was supposed to go out on the 31st of March, but that's clearly got a problem with it. So I'm going to go and label that one as um, uh, issue because uh, there's a problem. Go and create that tag and then I'm going to go and give that, ooh, let's go and give that a colour and I'm going to make that a red and then go back to my schedule and we can see that now that um, task has appeared in my calendar, but it's now red based on that um, tag. Let's do it again. So we've got Asana Basics 2. So that one's coming up this week. Uh, but let's say that there's uh, that's at risk. So I've got a really busy week. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to go and do that one uh, in time. Um, so I'm just going to go and color that one yellow. And then if we pop out um, there, we can see it's now uh, yellow. And then finally, we've got our Asana Basics 3. That's still got over a week. So that's uh, on track. So there's no issue with that one. Uh, just go and color that one green. Um, let's do that. Um, 
great. So we've now got a RAG status in a really visible way on our calendar um, to say, are we on track with these pieces of content uh, or not? So that's just another way that you can use tags to go and visually uh, help you uh, identify the different statuses of different tasks in, um, in Asana. Now, you may have heard of something called custom fields. So in the Asana pay plan, you get uh, access to a feature called custom fields. Um, so what's the difference and why would you use tags rather than uh, custom fields? Um, well, firstly, is tags are available on all of the free plans, but also um, they can fulfill the function of a custom field to a certain extent. Um, tags are global, so if you create them, they appear across all of your projects, all of your tasks, um, whereas custom fields um, can actually be targeted to a specific project. Um, anyone can create tags, um, whereas custom fields can be locked down for people who are on the business or the enterprise plans. Um, and lastly, is custom fields are uh, always available in the task pane. Um, so you can see, even if they've not got an actual um, attribute, you can still see the label, um, whereas tasks only appear when you add them. So just to quickly go and show you that again, so if we go into the project plan uh, into here, um, priority is a free custom field, but you can see it's got a label and actually the, um, the setting, but that can be cleared. So that's a bit like a custom field, but it's one that's included in the free plans. Um, but tags isn't there. It's only when I go and use the keyboard shortcut, so again, tab T, that it then appears and I can go and select one. All right, um, so um, today I've explained all about tags. Uh, let me know in the comments below how you use tags in your Asana setup. Uh, I'd love to hear about any uh, other use cases that you've got, um, and do let me know if you've got any questions. Um, I'd be happy to help. Uh, there will be more videos like this coming up every week on my channel and um, I've still got more to add to my Asana basic series so do make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. But that's all for today, thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.